Equinox's impressive style. Uh, I don't know what to do with the way. About that time, Larry steps in and says, uh, Coach, I want you to get the ball. Tell everybody to get out of the way. Mr. Larry, if you want to get the ball, I want to get the ball. Captain Tom, we walk back on the court, and then Xavier goes guard. So he tells Xavier, I'm getting the ball. I said, I don't want to be waiting. And he said, I'm getting ready. I'm shooting right in your face. Yo, 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 what's the deal, what's the deal, it's your boy who is Hendo, and we back talking sports, Larry Bird is a cold motherfucker, so as you know, if this season do not end well for Mr. Uh, Goat, Larry, this man will be passing LeBron in my all-time rankings, I got Larry six. But I already been telling people that he in my top five. People been laughing me, laughing at me like a motherfucker. You know LeBron fans and other people, but it's a couple of other people out here that actually have Larry Bird over LeBron. And I'm not just talking about the uh ones that saw him play. So we about to get into Larry Bird, you know what I'm saying? One of the most clutch players of all time. Top five for sure, for sure. He came, came out with a bop that exact spot. spot. He shot a shot right in the face. face. And you know, he was like, I didn't even need two seconds, seconds on the clock. He didn't want to shoot with zero seconds on the clock. And I went back to the side of the line, like, damn. Let's do it out of it. John Murray tried to find his way through. Oh, no. 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 He had an unshakable confidence. If he can get his shot off, he felt like he, we were going to win the ball game. Two-point Maverick Lee. Bird the man that he wants to have. Yes, indeed. Four, three. Yes, Larry Bird for three. Yes, Larry Bird for three. Celtics lead the Celtics lead the Celtics That's what you call a killer right there, bro. That's what you call a killer. Like, for real, for real. Larry Bird was, one, like I said, one of the most clutch people of all time. One of the most clutch players of all time. The best shooting uh, small forward. Like I told him, I said he passed better than LeBron. I didn't see him pass, and I didn't see LeBron pass. Some of these passes that Jokic is doing, Larry Bird did in the, in the 80s. The touch pass, the behind the back pass, some of the, a lot of the passes he doing, Larry Bird already did, bro. And this is telling me that a lot of people don't try to go and watch shit, bro. They just go off of what they think happened or what they think Larry Bird is. Or well, Larry Bird was just a shooter. No, he was not, bro. Larry Bird was an excellent passer. He was a really good defender, great shooter, great rebounder. For, he averaged 10 rebounds a game. It's some power forwards, some centers that don't average 10, re 10 rebounds a game. Larry Bird was the truth. I remember we were playing uh, Washington in Washington one night, and Larry just hit what RIP Chris Ford. Um, he just passed and everything. Uh, I want to say he was the first one to hit a three ever. I'm not sure. Y'all uh, in the comments, let me know. Would have been the game check. Casey Cole, Cole time out. out. Larry came back to the match and he was upset. He looks at the match and says, 
How many people you know would talk to the other team like this and I'm going to stick it in your pitch? Let me ask y'all something. Y'all think, let me ask y'all something. How many people y'all think could do that? Not only hit the game winner once and it be null and void because his team, because it's, uh, because they called the timeout, but go and do it again. Not only do that, call your shout out and be like, listen, I'm about to, uh, go over here, shoot this in your face, and then we about to go home. Who would do that, bro? Only goats do that. Only, like, Larry Bird definitely has a case for the GOAT, bro. I didn't never think so before, bro. But this is what I tell people, bro. Like, you could think, you know what I'm saying, whoever is better, bro. Larry Bird was on one of the top five teams of all time, the 86 Celtics. So if you know basketball, you know Larry Bird was that dude, bro. You do. You know that. Oh, oh man, Larry, Larry was so, so confident. confident. So, so extremely confident. Larry Bird is amazing, bro. That's that's bro, the coldest white boy I've ever seen. I know y'all got Luca and everything. And don't get me wrong, Luca a bad boy. He ain't fucking with Larry. Let me tell you why. When Larry came in on that team, he took them from worst to first, bro. And don't give me that. He had five Hall of Famers. Why couldn't they why couldn't they win without him before he came in the league? When he came in, they was winning like 26 games. I believe. And when he came in, they jumped up with 40 games to like 50, 60 wins. Come on, man. And like I said, this misconception that Magic is better than Bird, Magic resume is better, but he's not a better basketball player. Just like I tell people, Kobe, just like I tell people, LeBron's resume is better. You know what I'm saying? With the extra MVPs and finals MVPs and everything. But he's not a better basketball player than Kobe or Jordan. It's an argument with Kareem, basketball player. But, like, you know what I'm saying? If we compare a resume to resume, then Kareem or Jordan is the GOAT, bro. Like, it's not even it's not even close. Like, if we compare a resume, if we're just talking about rings, then it's, you know what I'm saying, Bill Russell. But when it comes to my top five or my top ten, let me tell y'all how I distinguish it. <clears throat> first of all, stats is not the first thing. The first thing is competition. Who did you face? Then, you know what I'm saying, uh, yeah, competition, rings, stats, accolades, what era did you play in, how good were you at your peak, how good were you on defense, offense? You know what I'm saying? Like, who did you, like, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot that come into that factor, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Because, because you give me the ball, you got it. Nobody better. Game on the line. Maybe nobody better ever.
I remember in particular one where I had to make a pass in from Phoenix and the entire the sun's crowd for a while. As soon as Larry let it go, we virtually turned to the bench and he's looking over like we should have more than one guy on. <laughs> You could have heard a mouse pee on cotton in that building. It got that quiet. Great bird, and look at the concentration. Looks like he's found the mark, Bill. Straight shooter, man. Yeah, man. This has been Larry Bird, man. Before I get out of here and finish this video, I want to say like, share, subscribe. If you want to donate to the YouTube ad fund, the PayPal account, I mean, <laughs> the PayPal link will be in the description, man. Who is Hendo? <laughs> Larry Bird. Larry Bird. Our winner here in the three point long distance shootout. I mean, it wasn't even close, bro. <laughs> This has been Who is Hendo with another Larry Bird banger. I hope y'all enjoy the Larry Bird fans. You know, y'all are the number one fan base on my channel. Y'all go hard for Larry Bird. He is one of my most popular people on my channel, bro, besides Kobe and, of course, Jordan. Well, you know, Bron, I ain't going to lie, Bron be pulling in numbers, you know, but that be due to LeBron fans not liking what I'm saying. You feel what I'm saying? They never like what I'm saying. Even when I give him props. Like, I'm waiting for him to pass Kareem so I can make a big video about him. You know what I'm saying? A long video and just, you know what I'm saying? Talk about his career. Because LeBron is a magnificent player, you know? So, this has been Who's Hendo with another video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm out.